Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x squared minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to x plus 1 whole to the power 4. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This one, this one is same as 1 squared. So, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This x squared minus 1 squared will become x plus 1 times x minus 1. Whole to the power this power 4 is equal to x plus 1 whole to the power 4. Now, by using this power rule a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This power 4 will become the power of this x plus 1 and this x minus 1 like this x plus 1 whole to the power 4 times x minus 1 whole to the power 4 and we move this positive x plus 1 whole to the power 4 to the left hand side this becomes negative x plus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression x plus 1 to the power 4 x plus 1 whole to the power 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, x plus 1 whole to the power 4 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this uh, x minus 1 whole to the power 4 and uh, negative 1 from here. In bracket left uh, x minus 1 whole to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x plus 1 to the power 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 whole to the power 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this x plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here we get uh, 4 solutions of x, x 1, 2, 3 and 4 is equal to negative 1. Now, from this equation we move this uh, negative 1 to the right hand side then this equation will become x minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 1 and this uh, x minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as x minus 1 whole to the power this 4 can be written as uh, 2 plus 2 is equal to 1. Now, by using this uh, power rule a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This uh, x minus 1 whole to the power 2 plus 2 will become x minus 1 whole squared times x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 1. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This uh, x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 times and this x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared minus 2 times x plus 1 is equal to this 1. Now, here we have x squared minus 2x and here we have x squared minus 2x. So, we suppose that let 
x squared minus 2 times x is equal to m. When we substitute m in this equation, then this equation will become m plus 1 times m plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, this uh, m plus 1 times uh, m plus 1 will become m plus 1 whole squared is equal to 1 and this uh, m plus 1 whole squared is equal to m squared plus uh, 2 times m plus 1 and we move uh, this one to the left hand side this becomes the negative 1 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1 and uh, here we are left with uh, m squared plus uh, 2 times m is equal to 0. Now, from the left hand side uh, we can factor out m. m as common factor and in bracket left uh, m plus 2 is equal to 0 and from here either this m is equal to 0 or this m plus 2 is equal to 0 and from here m is equal to negative 2. So, we have uh, two values of m, m is equal to 0 and m is equal to negative 2. Now, recall that x squared minus 2x is equal to m. Recall that x squared minus 2 times x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 0, then this equation will become x squared minus 2 times x is equal to 0. And from here, we can factor out x x as common factor and in bracket left x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this x is equal to 0 or this x minus 2 is equal to 0 and from this equation x is equal to 2. This is the fifth value of x, this is the fifth solution of this equation. And this is the sixth value of x, this is the sixth solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to negative 2, then this equation will become x squared minus 2 times x is equal to negative 2. Now, we move this uh, negative 2 to the left hand side. Then, x squared minus 2 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. And this uh, quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to 2. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b is negative 2 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 2 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 2 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next, x is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 2 squared is 4 and negative 4 times 1 times 2 negative 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 is negative 4 divided by 2 and x is equal to 2 plus or minus this uh, square root of negative 4 can be written as uh, square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Next, 
x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 and this uh, square root of negative 1 is equal to pi divided by 2 next x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left 1 plus minus i divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 from here we get uh, two values of x x 7 is equal to 1 plus i and x 8 is equal to 1 minus i and first we found the value of x 6 2 and x 5 0 and x 1 2 3 4 negative 1 first we found the value of uh, x 6 is equal to 2 x 5 is equal to 0 and uh, x 1 2 3 and 4 is equal to negative 1. So, these are the 8 solutions of uh, this equation.